I have tried to film this four times and everyone wants to walk by my window today. Spring is here and summer is on the way and it's warm and everyone's going to be outside. Well, maybe not everybody's going to be outside. A lot of people are going to be outside. And I thought this would be a great time to talk about some easy at-home ways to treat things that you may encounter on your outdoor adventures. Poultices are really, really helpful for things like burns and bug bites or bee stings or poison ivy, blisters, or rashes, or sunburns, splinters, fun stuff like that. I probably don't need to tell you that herbs and spices have been used for forever because they're great. So, so a lot of herbs have antibacterial and antiviral properties, so they're really great to use on wounds or infections or bites, and a lot of these things have drawing properties, so they will actually help draw out whatever is not supposed to be in your skin. You know, there are lots of different herbs that have these properties, so you don't have to stick to necessarily just one, and you can combine, so kind of like making food, you can make food for your skin and you can customize it to have the properties that you need. So it's cool, like making your own medicine. Disclaimer, this is not medical advice and this is not meant to treat or cure anything. This is not medicine. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a trained professional. This is just my opinion. Making a poultice is basically just a fancy way of saying that you're making a paste. So just your pasty mixture and cloth. I'm going to be using just a really thin dishcloth, but cheesecloth is really great if you have it. When you're putting the poultice on your skin, a lot of the, oh my god, my neighbor is driving me crazy. There are other things besides herbs that you can use in your poultices, like clays or salts or vegetables and fruits that are good for lots of different things. I will put this information below as well as link it to a blog post on our website so that you can refer back to this information when you need it. And there's not a whole lot of science to this mixing. You're just adding enough water to make the paste consistency that you would like. And I'm using a mortar and pestle to make my poultice today, but you can use a blender, you can use a food processor, or you can just mash it up with a fork. If you're dealing with dry skin or if you're making a poultimus, a poultice for eczema or something like that, you can also add in a few drops of a really good oil. So castor oil is really cleansing. Coconut oil is also cleansing. They have great antibacterial properties. Or you can try a really nourishing oil like argan oil or avocado oil that are really restorative and they have a lot of really good healthy skin vitamins. I think some of these tips are pretty handy for when you are out of town or camping or can't necessarily seek medical attention right away for something, um, but you need to treat it or if you just don't want to seek medical attention. All of these things are pretty easy, pretty basic, and really easy to make. So you're just going to take... Kidding me. Everybody's going to interrupt me today. Here is my mortar and pestle that I'm going to be using to make my poultice. And again, you can use a blender or mixer if you prefer that, but... I'm going to go old school today and we're just going to smash it around to make our paste. And I have my fresh herbs and then just a little touch of water. And you're probably only going to need a few tablespoons of the water, um, but just kind of go make it as you go. That makes sense. Make it to the consistency that you like as you go. I've got some fresh peppermint. It smells so good. So I've got peppermint in here for headache relief. So I'm making a little headache poultice. And I'm also going to throw in a little bit of cilantro as well because I like cilantro a lot. It has some cooling and soothing properties. It can be helpful for things like arthritis, um, soreness. So I'm just going to throw a little bit of that 
in there. So, a little splash. Like you see, just literally like a little splash of water. I'm just gonna smash it and make a paste. And you'll notice too that I am using the whole plant. So I have the stems in here as well as the leaves. And that's one of the um, kind of cool things about making a poultice or doing something like this is that you're using the whole plant rather than just an extract or just the oils or just the leaves. So you're getting everything in there. I'm going to add a little bit more water. You can see the texture is basically just crushed leaves at this point. So, I mean, that's really not all that thrilling. So I added about a tablespoon of water in there. So this water will provide kind of a medium for all of the oils and other beneficial properties to be released into. So we're kind of making our own medicine. And that's about as far as I'm gonna take that. We have mashed our herbs with some water to make paste. And that's all you're doing is you're just breaking up the herbs, smashing them around to release all those wonderful properties in there. And then that is our poultice mixture. And I'm just going to spread this onto a cloth. And I'm just using a dish towel. Ideally, you want to use something like cheesecloth or another product that isn't going to be too absorbent. You want this to stay pretty moist because the water is going to be what helps deliver all of the nutrients to your skin. So now this mixture, let's say I have a bite or look, I have a burn, uh, but if I have a bruise or a burn, you could place this mixture directly onto your skin or if you're using cheesecloth, this kind of looks like a dirt diaper. If you're using cheesecloth or a thinner fabric, you can layer another piece of the fabric over the top of the poultice. Again, you just want to make sure there is sufficient moisture there. You really only want to do that if you have a thinner piece of cloth because you can see it's not really bleeding through quite that well. Just really depends on what you're treating, how intense it is, what you're using. Now if I was going to apply this as a bandage, um, you would want to simply just Cilantro, which I've talked about before, has a cooling effect, so that's really great if you have a sunburn or other type of burn, so it's going to help alleviate a little bit of that pain. According to my research, it can also be helpful for arthritis, indigestion, rashes, it can even be helpful for things like pink eye. So making a poultice and putting it over your eyes, um, kind of on your eyelids with your eyes closed, can help draw out a lot of that infection and provide some relief. Parsley has some benefits for bruising and itching. Peppermint can be helpful for headaches, which I already was aware of that, but also read that it can be helpful for lice. So possibly if you're dealing with lice or if that's a concern of yours, a peppermint rinse or a peppermint poultice might not be a bad idea. Cabbage um, has also been used a long time for things like joint pain, also helpful for things like wounds or swelling. Cabbage has been used for a long time. You can even just use the crushed cabbage leaves themselves. You don't even have to use that with a fabric. Garlic has antiseptic properties. And basil as well, which I've also mentioned in other bug, po bug? bug posts. 
Basil can be helpful for bugs. Insect bites or bee stings, even if you're getting rashes, things like that, um, a paste with basil can be really, really helpful. You can also just smash it up with your fingers, or I've even heard of people like chewing on a basil leaf and using that, but that seems to me like that might be a little bit contaminated. I don't know. Another cool folky remedy that I found was an onion poultice. And I read that using an onion poultice on your feet can actually help um, draw out sickness or illness. So if you are sick or if you have a cold, putting that on your feet can actually help you get better. A paste or a poultice made of onion um, on your chest or on your back can be helpful for congestion. And then of course salt is just Mr. Basic. Salt obviously has a lot of antibacterial properties and you can also include things like clay which have again more drawing properties so if you're fighting against something like a boil or a splinter clay would be really really helpful to add in there as well. Just as kind of a general rule, you want to work with a warmer liquid or a warmer poultice if you're trying to draw something out. You want to use hot water and a warm poultice. If you are fighting inflammation or maybe a headache, um, discomfort, things like that, you want to go with a colder poultice so that will help reduce swelling and things like that. I hope that you found this information helpful today. You can always check out our blog on simplecareproducts.com if you want more tips and information. There's a little search box at the top if you want to search for anything specific. You can also shop our products over on the website or you can come over and hang out with me on Instagram at Simple Care Products. And then if you are in the Northern California area, you can check out the previous video where I talked about some events we will be at this spring and summer. So if you want to come out and say hi or come out and... You can also check out our blog on simplecareproducts.com. I post a lot of tips and ingredient information over there. There's a really easy to use search box at the top. So if you're looking for something specific, either an ingredient or an ailment, you can search both of those um, and find some really easy food related or pantry related tips for taking care of that stuff. Thanks so much for watching today. I appreciate it and Ah! Okay, that is my signal that I need to stop talking. As always, please like this video if you liked it, and remember to subscribe if you want to be updated when I post new videos. We'll see you next time, and until then, have a freaking fantastic day every single day. Blah, 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 tongue tied, look, 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 look